Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a church flyer using Adobe Photoshop. If you are old here, thanks. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. With any further ado, let's get started. Go to File, Select New. And we are going to use 1080 by 1080 pixels and our resolution then will be 300 so without any further then click on create so this is our working background now we are going to our resource file to import the background we are going to use so first import this one then scale it out Go to filter, select your blur, Gaussian blur, then increase it to around 18.0. It's okay. Then go back to your resource file and import this one over here. Scale it out to fill the page then drag it up around here is okay now we are going to apply layer mask then select your brush we are going to clean off this area something like this is okay then on this one then we are going to and um, going to our um, color balance let's use color balance here then adjust it a little like this something more like this all right then go to your resource file now we are going to import this one over here reduce the size that is okay then and the opacity reduce it to around 62 percent then apply your layer mask select your brush and we are going to clean off this area okay then back to your resource file and now we are going to import this one reduce the size this way and we are going to also reduce the opacity So around 57 is okay 57 then apply your layer mask select your brush and also clean off this area okay So having done this one now, so the next we are going to bring our test over here. So the first that we are going to bring the church logo. Reduce the size. Then let's position it around here. And the next is our test. Select your test tool, then Control V to paste. We are going to change the font to Helvetica. Then make it Helvetica. We are going to change this one. Select this one. Then make use of the vertical regular and reduce the font size
then after that we are going to reduce the the space to around let's use around five percent it's okay the space is too close so we are going to change it into six percent think this one is more better so if you need to change it then you can use maybe five point something five point five all right then after that then we are going to make a duplicate of this one ctrl j to duplicate then go to your test document and make a copy of this one over here ctrl c to copy then select your test to alight it ctrl a to alight and ctrl v to paste then we are going to make it bold and increase the character spacing this way now you can reduce the font size and go to select select all or you use ctrl a to select and now click over here to centralize it then go back to select and deselect you can see the shortcut key ctrl d so having done that then the next we are going back to our tests and make a copy of this one ctrl c to copy then select your test to and now we are going to paste ctrl v to paste then we need to remove the character spacing the enter zero percent to bring it together all right and now we can use the fonts fixture uh, let's better we let you let us use a vertical then make it bold this one is okay and this font i think the font i use here should be shorter so let's change it all right so next we are going to bring our test so now we are going to bring this test from here then we are going to select our mark to from here then highlight this one ctrl c to copy now go come back to your design here go to filter then let us create a new layer then go to filter here and now we are going to select this vanishing point right so over here now we are going to select somewhere around here like this okay so let's use this then ctrl v to paste so ctrl v to paste I think I'm going to leave it around yeah let's see okay so we can expand it this way all right so I think let's bring it down around the ear this should be okay or somewhere around here and take this one up okay so what you are going to do now then double click on this test em and now then come over to underlaying layer so we are going to 
bring this one this way hold your alt key while you bring this one this way that's okay then this one i think should be okay like this hold your alt key while you break it then take this one back then i think this this is okay this is okay all right now you can click okay to apply it and our test we are going to bring this one down increase the size a little more okay now we are going to draw a rent angle over here then go to your fx here and select gradient overlay and now i'm going to make use of this color here and this is the color code so take note of that the one at the center here this is the color code and the last one and the first one are the same so the angle is 0% and normal opacity is 100%. So the scale is 100%. Then click OK to apply it. Now we are going to bring our test. Make a copy of this one. Ctrl C to copy. And now we are coming back towards this location. We are going to paste this one. And change the font to Fishora. Then, and the font color, we are going to give it this color here. Then, reduce the size and bring it over here. Okay. Then, the next. We are coming back to our location here and the date. So we are going to make a copy of this one. Control C to copy. Then select your test to Control V to paste. Change the font color to white. And the font we are going to make use of Helvetica bold now we are going to turn this one around minus 90 degree so come over here then we are going to make use of nine, minus 90 degree then we are going to drag it over here next we are going to make a copy of this one ctrl c to copy and select your test tool we are going to paste this one now we are going to change the font color and select a color from here okay then bring it over here and increase the font size Now select this one. We are going to make a duplicate of it. Ctrl J to duplicate. Then drag it over here. And bring it around here. So this one we are going to rotate it back. Then we are going to use plus 90 degree to return it back. Then bring it over here. Select your test to ctrl c to copy and now ctrl a to highlight and ctrl v to paste next we are going to copy this one 
then this one duplicate it and bring it down Control a to alight and Control v to paste hold your shift key while you select this one highlight so use your arrow key then to adjust the movement all right so having done this one so the next we are going to make a copy of this one over here Control c to copy and before that then we are going to select this triangle this way then also we are going to change the direction of this triangle here then let us use 90 degree and bring it over here so select this color make a duplicate of this one ctrl j to duplicate then bring it over here double click to align and ctrl v to paste so now we are going to make a copy of this one ctrl c to copy then this one we are going to duplicate it ctrl j to duplicate and ctrl v to paste All right so we are going to select this one here and this one hold your shift key we are going to reduce the font size and now we are going to reduce the font size of this one then position it around the ear then we are going back to here and here use your arrow key then to adjust it and this one use your arrow key then to adjust it back so that is it so the last one we are going back to our resource file and import this light flare over here then reduce the font size then take it around this position now we are going to change the bloody mode to screen then position it around here okay then ctrl j to duplicate then position this one around here and we are going to increase i mean we are going to apply a blur gaussian blur then let's make it around 66 something like this and click ok then let it be around here So that is all about the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video.